The interior is kind of the final piece to the puzzle with this car and finally we're going to get started with it. I've always wanted an aftermarket wheel just because I reckon it's super cool but um, another good reason that I'm getting it for this car is when I sit like this which is um, comfortable for me leg wise and I sit back in the seat I'm kind of straight arming the steering wheel which is not ideal. I could move the seat forward but then it's a bit uncomfortable but um yeah, I think you, I'm not sure what the exact rule is, but I know you do want the wheel a bit closer with bent arms so that even when you're turning, you're not really stretching your arms the whole way. So that's obviously going to be different for different people, but for me, having the wheel a little bit closer is definitely just going to make the driving experience better. Now, if you know your S15s, you'll know that this is not the wheel that came with this car because this is an Australian delivered S15. And this is actually a Japanese uh, JDM steering wheel. This is actually a GT model um, car. So the outside steering wheel was actually the same as the Japanese models, which most Australian delivered ones aren't. They don't have these side pieces, I'm pretty sure, and they're just not of, as nice of a steering wheel. But I decided to change to a JDM wheel anyway because this was a really good condition one. And it's got the airbag with the Sylvia logo on here instead of the Nissan, which just looks pretty cool and gives you some extra JDM points. Now you see that there? This is an airbag. So before we begin, I just wanna say, don't do what I'm doing if you're gonna drive your car on the street. This car has like two safety features and this is deleting one of them, but um, I've built the car this far, so I'm not gonna stop now. I want it finished, which means I want the interior done to my liking and yeah so it's just up to you something to think about if you want to change your steering wheel out first things first whenever you are touching an airbag um, make sure you disconnect your battery because you don't want that thing blowing up in your face i think it's only a small chance that something like that could happen but it is gonna hurt so to remove this factory wheel you pop these little side panels off one on each side and it gives us access to a little hex screw to pull the airbag off. A little bit scary but just carefully unplug it and it should come straight out. There we go. Now we've just got to undo the one big center nut which can be really stiff if you've never taken your steering wheel off. Um, but then we should be able to pull the wheel off. Turns out it's still tight, so taking the easy way out. Easy. And the end of this thread actually has a mark on it, um, a lining center. So you don't have to worry about keeping your wheel completely center um, to not screw your alignment up. Oh. I did not want to come off. So I do have seats coming and I just thought these were always super cool. And that is the Worksbell Rapfix GTC, which instead of being like a normal quick release, because I don't know, I don't want to take my wheel off and take it somewhere or put it on the dash. It just tilts up and having the wheel up just gives you that extra space to get in and out. So if you're running one of these or a quick release, they obviously take up space and uh, like space the steering wheel closer to you. And that is why you need to get yourself a short boss kit. Again, I went with Workspell because I think their quality is pretty unmatched uh, in this space. And that's the part number. If any of you guys are wondering, you just wouldn't get the S, the short one, if you wanted to run the wheel straight on this. Pretty hard to get the alignment wrong with this. There is two dots, I believe, for um, two different bolt patterns. So just make sure you're using the right bolt pattern for whatever you're mounting on here and uh, line the dot up with the mark on this thread. Now with your boss kit, you should get some sort of wiring. Um, they may give you extra if your boss kit works with different cars, so you kind of got to work out what's for yours. This is for my horn. 
So that just clips on there and we can connect our horn to this. And none of the plugs for the airbag, because uh, the airbag needs a resistor, um, seem to fit on here, but they've thrown in this thing. So this looks like these two plugs um, will go into there. Just put in a tiny bit of electrical tape on this connection so that they never back out on me. And now this is perfectly fine to tuck back into the hole because the whole thing spins at one and there's no friction or anything to pull it apart. So now you can see we've just got this little horn wire sticking out. This is all tight and we are now ready to put the wrap fix on. It's all pretty simple but there seems to be an unnecessary amount of wires I was given. So hopefully I'm not supposed to use them all but yeah I guess we'll see if the horn works once it's all together. I actually found a good way to test what we've got so far. Grab the positive, which is going onto the steering wheel, and touch it on the metal here. We're good. This is all tight, so finally, the last piece of the puzzle. I haven't really shown you guys this wheel properly, so I'll show you it now. It's Keys Racing, a really OG, cool brand um, out of Japan. Made by ATC, so you know the quality is really good. And yeah, I just absolutely love this D shape. As you know, I don't really drift this car. If I was gonna drift it heaps, I'd probably go and get a round Nardi or something. But this, I think it just looks so cool. It's not a super deep wheel, but um, just for the grip driving, street driving that I do, I think it's so nice. And Alcantara as well, so hope this lasts and the stitching doesn't come off too quick. But um, yeah, such a nice looking wheel. And now we get to put the steering wheel on have your little horn cables through the center. Really nice hardware with the works bell kit as well. They're just black and they're gonna sit perfectly flush. And the horn doesn't work, of course. So um, I think that spacer thing was important. I'm gonna take this off and do that. Get it ready for you guys now. Okay, so I put that plate down in there and there was another ground which I connected. So, it's grounded at the boss kit stage and at the tilt hub stage, so if this doesn't work, I'm not too sure. <coughs> Finally. <coughs> I'm such a nice guy, I don't even honk at people, but I need to have that working, so... Finally, we are good. And what you've probably all been waiting to see, grab this latch. Bam. Easy access that is so cool it will make more sense once there's some new seats in here but for now it still looks cool and that's just a cool gimmick and i'm definitely feeling more comfortable in here my arms aren't completely straight anymore and i'm leaning all the way back and i think this just works in here but it's definitely going to come together when the seats arrive which are on the way from japan now I think, I think they're leaving. So hopefully a few weeks to a month, but yeah, you never know with shipping. Anyways, I think I'm gonna leave this here. Bumper is going to get painted in a couple of days as with this fender, which I still need a roll. Looks a bit silly with no side skirt still, but at least the interior is getting somewhere. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Doing mods, like changing stuff to the car, are honestly my favorite videos to do but um they of course cost money and the funds are limited so hit that subscribe if you want to see more seats are on the way um and i've got a few other ideas which i think you guys should like so thanks again for watching especially to you who have made it this far i really appreciate everyone who sticks around and watches these videos and Hopefully we can keep growing it and maybe turn it into something. I'm going to try my hardest to pump out more videos. So I guess I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.